In Hong Kong, if you want to go out, your options are usually a nightclub or a lounge that's playing the same EDM and pop music. House parties are rare because you're probably living in a tiny apartment that can only fit four people and your neighbor, who is literally a wall away, could call the cops on you. But in Hong Kong, you can get something close to a house party with your homies in an event thrown by these three guys who organize parties everywhere, even at restaurants. Everyone in Hong Kong never talks to each other, you know? You're like on the train and like, bro, sometimes you're like as close to like this other person. Like you're like, dude, do I even know you? Like we don't know each other, right? But it's like, you're, it's like whole intimate, law. I mean, they, they, it's like very, it's like a very close friend, but you don't know him, you know? So it's like, well actually, this guy could probably be a sick producer or it could be really creative, but we never get to chop it up because in Hong Kong society, you're like never talk to people. It's rude, you know, it's like, what, are you weird? So I think the idea with nightlife and, and events is to be able to break down those barriers and, and like, hey, you know what, let's break bread, let's chat, let's chop it up. What's up guys, my name is Tom Yeti, Thomas Bray. I'm based out in the Shanghai team. My name's Eri, uh, or Eri Yeti, and I'm one of the co-founders of Yeti Out. I also run the London scene, so we do a lot of events in London. My name's Arthur from uh, Yeti Out. Um, we're a creative collective, music collective, turn apparel imprint. As the underground music scene continues to grow in China, parties are giving young locals a chance to see what's hot. They also give budding DJs like Yeti Out an opportunity to make their mark on the scene. By utilizing social media platforms in China and getting creative with party spaces in Hong Kong, these three guys have stood out as street icons for the past nine years. In other cities that I, I've worked in, whether it's like uh, Paris or New York or London, like the scenes are already, it's been, it's been happening for so long, the scenes are very concrete already. And, um, you know, people that are into certain music, they won't necessarily go to like the other clubs, the other, other, other parties. China is still growing, so everyone is just very curious and they're, they're very interested in like how everything works in general and they just want to see it all and hear it all actually. Doing events and promoting music culture in China is quite different from how you do it the rest of the world. No one really uses these platforms outside of China. You know, learning about platforms like Xiaomi, QQ Music, like Yuku, WeChat, Weibo, like when, when we used to do parties in, in London or Hong Kong, like there's different strategies, you know, just flyering using Facebook or newsletter, you know, in China, you, none of that really translates. And Hong Kong is pretty merciless in terms of it being a place of high rent. There's a lot of overheads that you have to think of before you put forward an idea and turn it into a, a reality, you know. It's a lot of like logistical issues in terms of like dealing with management and um, yeah, the police. <laughs> like, it gets difficult, it gets difficult, it gets difficult. I mean, whatever, like they came through and then, um, and then I was just asking them all, like, look, why, why, uh, why, why you gotta do this? And then like, oh yeah, it's like noise complainer. Yeah, I mean, what about that they can shut down one party, but it's, you know, four more to go, right? So, yeah, the show must go on. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite in London. There's so many venues to choose from. Yeah. It's quite easy to book a venue. Scaling up can be both exciting and challenging. Yesterday, you know, we were out till four and then we're back at it midday, you know, bringing stuff to the pop up setting up sound system, you know, trying to, trying to buy a sound card because like radio broadcaster sound card broke. It's constantly just being able to maneuver while trying to troubleshoot. So that, you, 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 don't, you don't see that on the Instagram flyer. I mean, Instagram is the biggest misconception because we'll upload a picture and then you'll see a flyer from Seoul, a flyer from Tokyo and a flyer from, I don't know, it could be in London. You don't see like the work that's gone in before that. We're not gonna post to our Instagram the long no sleep nights or yeah. Know, like, we're know. not gonna complain, are we? Yeah, we're yeah. not. We're not yeah. gonna post that's, our complaints. That's one thing you can never you can never complain doing doing what you do here because it's like you just sound like a can you swear you just sound like a little bitch if you like complain about working in nightlife because you you you've put yourself in a position where you've got the best job in the world. You can be like, oh, I'm too tired. And you, you say it to anyone, everyone be like, yeah, screw you, dude. Like you're a party promoter, you're a DJ. Like you you, you travel around the world and like you know do pop-ups and merch, you can never complain, do you know what I mean? But it, to, you know, to be honest, we don't really have much to complain either. Like, but it's long hours, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like... With the tagline of bridging East and West, the team has brought foreign talent like FKJ, 
Jay Prince and Cozy Boys to perform in China and the rest of Asia. They are also now actively bringing Chinese talent to music events in the West. Music in China and Asia in general has grown so strong in the last two, three years that actually we've been able to bridge it the other way. So originally we were always west to east. We're now inviting DJs, MCs, live artists over from China, all of these places. We export it back into Europe. People from like Young Queen. We brought him over to Paris to do the party in Paris Fashion Week. You know, we brought him over to London. It's just that sort of momentum is exciting for me as well. You know, you want to come and see some music from Asian artists who are homebred but as well as international. Then you come to a Yeti Out night. And uh, yeah, we've got ideas that exist on flyers and sometimes on T-shirts. And tonight we're doing our first ever pop-up shop at Popcorn in Yamate. Big up Chris, big up, no, no. Um, we're just showcasing stuff from our SS19 collection. We're just sharing a piece of our mind to the public. Like the origins of Yeti being in high altitude, you know, in the Himalayan mountains, but also high altitude can be another reference to how people go clubbing. You know, they're set of mind when they're out waving till six in the morning. That's also in high altitude in certain ways. Comfortable clothes like this, we can go out partying in till the early hours. And you know, it's just it's rave gear essentially. Yeti Out has grown from throwing underground parties where nobody showed up. To working with global brands like Coach and Under Armour. But it still remained connected to the spiritual home, Hong Kong. Recently, they collaborated with Choi Wa, a 24 hour Cha Chan Tan chain, and a favorite haunt of late night party goers. You know, I always think of the person that comes into the room and he, what if he doesn't like disco, you know, like what are the other connecting factors that would make the evening appealing to that person, right? Now with social media, people are actually less social because they're always looking at their phones, right? So I think offline events and like being able to go to, a, go to an event and a music night and experiencing like a new song or like a moment is, is way more important than it is before because it's like, if you weren't there, you weren't there. Like, okay, sure, you can look at someone's story, but like that's not the same as like really checking out a live act. Um, so yeah, I think just being able to provide a, an event space for people to hang and be inspired and like just be able to experience good music is really important, you know? This is how, this how it goes down. Yo, my name's Eri, I'm from London. Yo, what's good? This is Tom Yeti. My name's Arthur Bray from Yeti Out, I'm from Hong Kong. Right here, man, right here. Our best friends. 